Party time. Rad experience. me Robbie from radexperience.com. So here I am checking in with you all because today was my first long run during my New York City Marathon training. I am so excited about this New York City Marathon that I honestly can barely contain myself most days. Um, however, I do want to go through this journey with you and give you as much information and advice and encouragement, hopefully, um, if you plan on running a race, whether it's a half, a full, or you know, a 10K, 5K, because I really feel like running is such a communal experience. I run races because I love the feeling I get being surrounded around other people chasing a goal and not only chasing it but achieving it. So it's really incredible. So I'm here just giving you a little inside scoop on today's run. Um, so today, like I said, was my first long run. It was six miles. Um, not a big deal. Shouldn't be, right? Um, however, I will say that I have not been running much since my ha last half marathon in April. I did a 10K in June, but other than that, I've just been doing lots of sprinting and just like really recovering. So speaking of recovering, I have an injury. Most of you all know about it. If you don't, um, I have a very inactive QL on my left side, which hence works its way down my entire left side of my body. Um, shoulder, hamstrings, hips, everything. Um, so that pain has been with me for about a year and a half now. Um, I'm not used to it. I'm not numb to it, but I am not afraid of it. Um, so I definitely push through. I do what I need to do to maintain. I do a lot of yoga. I meditate. I do acupuncture, massage, and um, it's manageable. So as I'm training this year, I really, really am determined to run this race and to train for this half to, for this marathon. Excuse me, injury free. Um, so with that said, I've been doing a lot of research. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about today is stride and cadence and your gait. Um, so I have two feet, like most of us, <laughs> and my right foot is neutral, but my left foot pronates, so it rolls in. Um, so basically when I run, that is really compensated and probably explains a lot of the pain on my left side because that left foot is doing its own funky thing. Um, however, I have been doing a lot of research. I've tried gazillions pairs of shoes, from stability shoes to neutral shoes to all kinds of stuff, like crazy, crazy, crazy experiments. And I'm realizing that after talking to my friends over at New York Running Shop in Columbus Circle, whoop, whoop, shout out, um, if I run in a neutral shoe, basically, and I stay on the midfoot and the front foot of my strike, I can eliminate this pain. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm running on my midfoot. I did a whole six miles today doing that. Hard, like so hard, but so awesome because my back is not hurt at all. And usually after I run six miles or more, I have to like ice it and take an ice bath and like heat it up and all kind of crazy stuff. Whereas today I feel great. Um, so it definitely is going to take some practice and some patience because my calves and my hamstrings are not used to that type of work and they are on fire. Um, but it is what it is, and I'm excited that I found this, and I look forward to training these muscles in that this way moving forward. So um, that's it. I'm going to definitely document this baby every single week. So here it is, week one, long run. And P.S., running in the summer, no punk. Like, it is so hot. I usually don't run naked, um, but I had to today because it was so hot. Um, so anyway, that's a sidebar. Um, I'll fill you in next week, week two of New York City Marathon Training, Rad Experience. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to say, hey, girl, do your thing or whatever, I'm all about that. So hit me up at Robbie at radexperience.com or just comment on this video. Mm -hmm.